So, quest three is um, is Meta still king of VR gaming? Yeah, yeah, they've got it. Um, I don't know anyone else who is close. Now, it's probably a good time for me to say that I'm partnered with Meta, so some of you will think that that biases my opinion. But they uh, they really won the market with the subsidized Quest Two, and it was the best standalone headset at the time. And they've now one upped it with the Quest Three. So Quest Three is pretty pretty exciting because it, it just upgrades the experience from Quest Two. Uh, do I expect them to continue to hold that spot? There's some competitors like Pico been trying to pop into the market, but getting blocked by some of the federal governments kind of interesting. Uh, but for right now, Meta's selling a bunch of headsets. I expect Quest 3 to sell out around Christmas. Um, they, maybe they've manufactured enough not to sell out, but I think it's going to be a hot sales item, even at the high price point of $500. Um, Apple Vision Pro is coming next year, but at a $3,500 price point, that's US dollars, uh, it's, it's out of reach for most consumers. So most people will look at that, get FOMO, and say, well, what's the headset that I can buy and have that kind of, you know, living room experience and where I can uh, watch films with like that AR uh, pass-through look? And the answer, very simply, is right now you can pick up a Quest 3, October 10th, it launches. So go to Amazon, go to meta.com, um, and you can pick one up. Um, I, I'm not affiliated, as I said, I'm not getting any uh, money from them for this, uh, but I am partnered means I can get free hardware and games and stuff from them. So uh, if you're looking for somebody to review equipment uh, or just get a better understanding of what the headset has to offer, uh, then check us out. Zip5.com.